Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's video we are going to see the design process and few examples based on designing of narrow bandpass filter. So let's begin with the topic. <music> Filter is basically a circuit which is used for frequency selection. We can say filters are the frequency selective circuit. Filter allows certain band of frequency and it blocks remaining band of frequency. So in case of filter, the two bands are defined and they are nothing but pass band and stop band. Pass band are those band of frequency which is allowed by the filter whereas stop band are those band of frequency which are attenuated, stop or completely blocked by the filter. To differentiate between pass band and stop band, a frequency is defined that is called as center frequency. So basically center frequency acts as a boundary between pass band and stop band. In case of certain filters like low pass filter, high pass filter, there is only one certain frequency. But in case of band pass filter, two frequencies are required to be defined. As the name indicate, band pass filter allows only a particular band of frequency and rejects all other frequency beyond that band. So, in case of band pass filter, there is only one pass band and two stop band. So, to differentiate between pass band and two stop band, two frequencies are required to be defined. That is nothing but the lower frequency and higher frequency. Now, the one more important term related to filter is nothing but the Q factor. Q factor is nothing but the ratio of energy supply to the filter to the energy dissipated by filter in one cycle of operation and Q factor plays an important role in designing of filter because the value of Q factor decides which type of bandpass filter is going to be used in the circuit. If value of Q is less than 10 then the bandpass filter is called as wide bandpass filter whereas if the value of Q is greater than 10 then the bandpass filter is called as narrow bandpass filter. Now moving towards the narrow bandpass filter, as its name indicate, it allows only a very narrow or a small band of frequency to pass to the filter. Therefore, in case of narrow bandpass filter, we will get a very sharp frequency response. Therefore, in the circuits where we require to be very selective related about the frequency, then in that case, we can use a narrow bandpass filter. Because as the value of Q get increase, the bandwidth of the filter is get reduced and the frequency response become more and more sharper. Now the circuit of narrow bandpass filter consists of only one op amp and that is also connected in inverting configuration. Whereas in other circuits like high pass filter, low pass filter, the op amp are used in the non-inverting configuration. Also in case of narrow bandpass filter, multiple feedback paths are used. So these are the some important features related to narrow bandpass filter. As narrow bandpass filter uses op amp in inverting configuration and uses multiple feedback path, therefore the designing process of narrow bandpass filter is quite different from those of other filter. Now let's see what are the designing steps involved in the designing of narrow bandpass filter. So let's understand the designing process of narrow bandpass filter. It involves various steps that requires values to be assumed, values to be calculated and depending upon those values we are going to design a narrow bandpass filter. In case of narrow bandpass filter, gain of filter and Q factor plays an important role. For every resistor we have a different formula and as it uses two capacitor. Therefore the first step of designing is to select the value of capacitor and it is required to be equal for simplification purpose. So let's understand the various steps involved in designing of narrow band pass filter. So the first step is select C1 equals to C2 is equals to C. C1 is connected to the inverting configuration whereas C2 is connected in the feedback path. For simplification purpose we are going to consider the values of both C1 and C2 is equals to C only. The next step is find resistor R1 and that is equals to Q upon 2 pi FC C into AF. Here the Q factor and the gain of filter are required to be selected very properly because all the values of resistor are now going to based on the value of Q and AF. The next step is to find out value of resistor R3 and R3 is find out by using a formula Q upon pi FC into C. Next step is to find out value of R2 which is equals to Q upon 2 pi FC into C into 2Q square minus AF. Now next step is nothing but the gain. 
we require to define the gain at frequency which is equals to center frequency fc and af is equals to r3 upon 2r1 the next step is nothing but the condition of gain the gain of narrow bandpass filter is required to be less than 2q square now if we require to change the center frequency then there is no need to change gain or bandwidth of the filter only by changing the value of resistor r2 we can change the value of center frequency and for that purpose the new value of r2 is calculated as r2 dash equals to r2 into fc upon fc dash square where fc dash is the new center frequency and fc is the old center frequency r2 dash is the new value of resistor r2 and r2 is old value of resistor r2 so only by changing the value of resistor we can shift the center frequency from fc to fc dash so these are the certain process that require to be involved in the designing of narrow band pass filter now let's understand the designing process in detail by taking some example the statement of first problem is Design a narrow band pass filter with FC is equals to 1 kilohertz, Q equals to 13, AF is equals to 10. Also assume C equals to 0.1 microfarad. Now here the value of capacitor is given in the problem. Therefore, there is no need to assume the other value of capacitor. Now here Q factor is given as 13 which satisfy the condition that is Q required to be greater than 10. And value of gain is given as 10. So let's first write down given data and then solve the example. Now, the first step is assumption of capacitor value which is given in the problem as 0.1 microfarad. The next step is to find out value of resistor R1 and R1 is calculated by using a formula R1 equals to Q upon 2 pi FC into C into AF. Now let's substitute the values and find out value of resistor R1. So after substituting the value of AF c and fc we will get value of r1 as 2.07 ohms but for simplification purpose we will approximate this value as 2 ohms only so we will get value of r1 as 2 ohms now next thing is to find out value of resistor r2 The formula to find out value of resistor R2 is R2 equals to Q upon 2 pi FC into C into 2 Q square minus AF. We have all the values that means gain value, frequency value, capacitor value and Q factor value. So let's substitute the values and find out value of R2. So after substituting the values of gain, Q factor, center frequency and capacitor, the R2 is obtained as 63 ohms. Now next step is to find out value of resistor R3. The formula which is used to find out value of resistor R3 is Q upon pi FC into C. So, by substituting Q, F, C and C value, we will get R3 as 41.40 kilo ohms. But we can approximate the values to 41 kilo ohms also. Therefore, R3 is approximately equals to 41 kilo ohms. In the problem, the value of gain, value of capacitor and value of center frequency fc is given therefore no need to follow the remaining steps so in this problem we only need to calculate the value of resistor r1 r2 and r3 so this is how we can design a narrow band pass filter by using different formulas of r1 r2 r3 based on the value of center frequency q factor and gain now let's understand the another problem for more details 
the statement of problem is design a narrow band pass filter with fc is equals to 2 kilohertz pass band gain equals to 2 and q is equals to 10 in this problem also the value of center frequency gain that is af and q factor value is given for narrow band pass filter the value of q is required to be equal to or greater than 10 so here the value of q factor is given as 10 so we can consider this value in the problem the value of capacitor is not given so we need to consider the value of capacitor which is always less than 100 nanofarad so first let's write down given data and then solve the designing problem AF is nothing but pass band gain. Now let's assume C1 is equals to C2 is equals to C which is step number 1. And we assume C as 10 into 10 raised to minus 9 farad. Now next step is to find out R1 and R1 is calculated by using a formula R1 is equals to Q upon 2 pi FC into C into AF. Now let's substitute values of center frequency, gain and Q factor. So after substituting the values of gain, Q factor and C and FC, we will get R1 as So value of R1 is equals to 4 kilo ohms. Now next step is to find out value of resistor R2. To find out R2, we will use a formula Q upon 2 pi FC into C in bracket 2Q square minus AF. So, R2 is now equals to 10 upon 2 pi, 2 kilohertz is the value of center frequency, 10 into 10 raised to minus 9 is the value of capacitor that we have assumed and 2 is the value of passband gain that is AF. So, we will get value of R2 as, so we will get value of R2 as 40 ohms. Now, next is to find out R3 and R3 is given by a formula. R3 is equals to Q upon pi FC into C. So after calculation, we will get R3 as 16 kilo ohms. So this is how we can design a narrow band pass filter by using various values of capacitor, center frequency and Q factor. The only condition that we need to consider is the value of Q factor and condition of gain that is gain always required to be less than 2Q square. So this is how we can design and implement the narrow band pass filter by using various steps of designing. I hope you understand the problems based on designing process of narrow band pass filter. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda. Subscribe Ikeda. Thank you.